Tonight, right now at 6, protests continue on college campuses in response to the war in Gaza. In fact, the encampment at UConn is now in its fifth day. And today, UConn administrators met with students from that encampment. Channel 3's Aya Galal is live in stores tonight with more on how that meeting went. Aya. long students ended up walking out of the meeting. This is the encampment here at the Yukon Stores campus continues. Students have been out here since Thursday and now it's finals week. Uh, very simple. We're out here because we believe that Yukon is partaking in the genocide that's happening in Gaza right now and uh, we want to see changes. There are many reasons why Yukon students have set up camp by Dove Tower on the Stores campus. It is heartbreaking day in and day out seeing uh, more people in Gaza being killed by the Israeli assault, uh, which is backed by the United States. Students say they want the University of Connecticut to end its investments in companies that manufacture weapons used in the ongoing war in Gaza. Their demands for divestment echoing similar calls on college campuses across the country. Nuclear submarines, fighter jet engines, uh, Connecticut is where these are all produced. In a statement, UConn said university business is continuing as scheduled. UConn will continue to allow individuals to gather and remain, including carrying out protests if that is the intent, as long as the safety measures and other guidelines communicated are followed. This afternoon, students from the encampment met with UConn administrators. Students tell us that administration stated in the meeting they were not interested in negotiations, and as a result, students Students walked out of the meeting room. This is a public institution. Uh, we do believe that we have a right uh, to demand a disclosure regarding uh, any finances uh, that the university partakes in. With Yukon police parked close by, the encampment has been largely peaceful. However, last Thursday, the first day of the encampment, a graduate student was arrested. Teach-ins and interfaith prayers have been taking place. I'm here to support our students, support their right to be here and to assemble peacefully and raise their voices. Some professors have also come to the encampment as a show of solidarity with students. I think it's useful to have faculty around just to let them know that they're not alone. And just in the last hour, we received an update from UConn. UConn says the students were told in advance that it was a care and concern check-in and not a meeting to negotiate anything. Despite this, the students who attended stated they were there to negotiate their demands. University staff reiterated that was not the purpose of the meeting, and the students departed. Now, graduation is scheduled for this weekend, and we are told that graduation will continue as planned. Live in stores tonight, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Hey, I think